Hey everybody, I'm Amanda and this is Staying Kingdom Minded. My husband's name is Christopher and together we make up this amazing Christian family oriented faith based YouTube channel. I thank you so much for clicking on this video. Don't mind the little one in the background. He's watching TV and causing a ruckus like he loves to do. Another one here on the floor on a blanket getting ready for a bottle. I am a busy mom of two small littles, a medium little, a big little, and a stepmom to several more littles. So together we are this Christian based YouTube channel and I thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new to the channel and you haven't had an opportunity to subscribe, please click that big red button now and join our online family and our online ministry. So with that being said, today what I want to talk to you about is the topic, does attending church regularly give you peace? So this was a requested video actually almost a year ago and somehow I missed the comment. So I greatly apologize for that. So I am going to make this video. It's very near and dear topic to my heart because attending church regularly is important to me and my family. So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say on this topic, just watch the video because here it comes. Okay, so I have some notes here on my notebook that I took and I want to talk to you about how attending church regularly does in fact give you a sense of peace. So this question um, was left in a comment on my Thankful Thanksgiving Thoughts 2017 video, which I will put a link to that video in the description below in case you're interested in seeing that. So that was the question and a Bible verse out of Hebrews 10 25 says, and let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. So when we attend church regularly, we're not forsaking. So like the assembling of ourselves is what the KJV says. So we're not forsaking the assembling, which means we're gathering, we're getting to re together regularly and having corporate church services. Now, not everyone feels that that is necessary. And I am a believer that home church services are good and supplemental like times, things like that, outreach programs and ministry and all forms of worship and praise together as a unified body. I'm definitely a believer in those kinds of things, but I believe attending a regular church with a regular pastor who can be that spiritual head. The Bible talks about authority and there are different levels of authority. And I do respect the man of God in my life, my pastor. And then that next level of authority then, ladies and gentlemen, then would become the husband who is the head of his household. And then the wife and the children follow suit. So there is spiritual leadership and authority that we are to respect. And there are many, many benefits that come with having that spiritual head, with having that regular church body of believers that you can get together with and that you worship with and you pray with and you praise with and they are there for you and you are there for them and that does give me a sense of peace so the bible goes on in the kjv it says but so much more as ye see the day approaching so the closer and closer it gets to the coming of the lord it is very important that we do not forsake the assembling of ourselves together, whatever that looks like for you. To me and what I believe is yes, going to church regularly is very, very important. And it gives me peace of mind knowing that I have people that are there for me 24-7, 365, no matter what is going on in my life, they are there in my corner rooting me on. Okay, so another reason why I believe attending church regularly does give you peace is God speaks to us in many different ways. And one way that he chooses to speak to us is through the voice of those that we surround ourselves with. So if you are attending a church regularly and you have those men and women of God in your life, those saints, those prayer warriors who are there for you, God can use those people to speak into your life. The other day I was at church and I had a brother in Christ come up to me, Brother Powers, as a matter of fact, if you're watching this video, comment down below and let me know that you're watching this one. Um, and, and all he said to me was, I feel a spirit of faith in you radiating from you today and what he doesn't know is of course he does know that the Bible says that there is power in the tongue the power of life and death is in the tongue in the spoken word so the things that you say to other people build them up or they tear them down and I know I've made videos on that before but it's very very important that we understand that the things that we say mean so much God can use people to speak into your life if you are allowing yourselves to be around those people so it gives me a sense of peace to 
to have those people there in my corner for me in that church service, in that church building. Now, I'm a believer that we are not just supposed to serve God in the building, that the church is a collective body of individuals all over the world from many different locations, of course, and that we're supposed to get out of those four walls, bust out, break out, preach, minister, be there for one another, build one another up. I believe those things. But when you do go to that corporate worship place, when you do go to that collective body of like-minded individuals, God can use them to speak into your life, which then gives me more peace in my situation and my day-to-day living for the Lord. And thirdly, Matthew 18, 20 says, where two or three are gathered together as my followers, I am there among them. So where two or three are gathered together in my name, another version says, KJV, I am there in the midst. So it's very important that we understand that when we get together with like-minded individuals and the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit is just stirring and praise and worship is going up and his presence is coming down, He can minister and he does minister and he will minister to you. When you get in the presence of God, that is where changes take place. And that is where the peace of God that passes all understanding comes from today. So yes, I do truly believe that attending church regularly gives you peace. It has given me more peace than I could ever, ever, ever get across to you in this video. Peace when my mind was troubled. Peace when I felt like the very core of my being was shaken peace when I was distraught peace when I've been sad and I've been depressed and I've just been fighting every devil out of hell peace when I didn't know which way to turn peace of God that passes all understanding where you feel his arms wrap around you where you feel a sense of comfort and solitude and knowing that you have a body of believers knowing that you have that spiritual head that pastor who's praying who's a man of God who's not perfect but has been placed in your life to beseech God on your behalf and that my friends is why I feel like attending church regularly gives you peace I know it has given me peace time and time again it has given me so much peace and many of the friends that I have many people that I know get a sense of peace from attending church services regularly and having a faithful committed intentional purposeful walk with God So that is why I believe attending church regularly gives you peace. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it encourages you. I hope it builds you up, lifts you up, allows you to pick yourself up, dust yourself off from the cares of the world and find a church. Start looking today if you don't have one. If you live locally and you're interested in knowing about my church, please comment that in the comment section below. I would love to share that information with you. I would love to praise and worship the Lord with you. If you have any further questions, any video ideas, please put those in the comment section below. And once again, I just thank every single one of you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Time is worth more than anything, the time that you have and what you choose to do with it. You chose to click this video. You chose to watch it through in its entirety. And I thank you for that. I'm very blessed for each and every one of you guys. I thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget, wherever you are and in all things, stay kingdom minded.